following is the Gospel for the fourth Sunday of Advent. According to Luke, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived in a, so a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel of the Lord departed from her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. We are at the end of this season of Advent, and the picture that the Church gives us today is the picture of Our Lady. This um, story is very interesting and uh, comes with a couple of questions of Our Lady. First of all, she wonder, how can this be since I have no relations with a man? And the other question is, she pondered what sort of reading this might be. So, Our Lady is not just a handmaid that says okay, yes, to the words of the angel without asking anything, without thinking and pondering and meditating everything. Far from that, from that Our Lady uh, thinks about what's the meaning of a greeting, what's the meaning of the words of the angel, why he greeted her in that way. And that's the first teaching we can uh, have of this passage of the Gospel. The, the, Our Lady thinks about everything. She, she pondered and she meditates the meaning of everything. Our culture nowadays pushes us to do things in a compulsive way, without thinking. Just do it, just buy it, just answer it, without thinking. And Our Lady teaches us that we can uh, wonder, we can ask ourselves, do I think everything before taking decisions, before answering the other people? Because without thinking is impossible to do the will of God. And secondly, when the angel says she is going to become the mother of God, she asks him, because the proposal of the angel is, seems to be different to what she wanted to become. She wanted to stay virgin, but the proposal is to have a son. How can this be possible? and asking the others, going far from his idea, her ideas, she can uh, find the, the answer and the path. And it's very important to ask. We, have, we need some people to dialogue about 
our um, ideas, our doubts, our uh, everything we, we want to do. For, so, for example, when we want to become entrepreneurs or to, to do new things, it's important to have a spiritual director, a priest, a friend, anybody to ask that is not related to our life, that can give us an objective um, advice and that's very important in these days. So two ways Our Lady answer or question her own life. First of all, when she ponder, when she thinks in her mind and secondly, when she goes out beyond her own life and ask to other persons, in this case the angel. With these two kinds of answers, we can be sure to do the will of God and to take the right path in this, in this life and in every kind of, in, in every field of our life, familiar, personal, spiritual, everything. So let's try to not do anything without asking ourselves and asking other people an advice to, to, to do the, the right thing. God bless you all.